the Center for Constitutional Rights, have taken on the case of the 9-11 detainees and filed a lawsuit against the U.S. government for the wrongful detention and abuse of the Muslim and Arab men who were secretly rounded up. These men disappeared off the streets. Rachel Mirapol is an attorney who represents several of the men who were detained. Their family members, their lawyers kept calling the FBI, the INS, you know, where have they been taken, we can't get a hold of them. At this point, they were under investigation, but had they been charged with any criminal activity? No, they were only charged with civil immigration violations, and yet they were detained as if they were charged with the most serious of any crime. Mirapol says most of these men were not on the radar of U.S. law enforcement until tips started coming in. Shortly after 9-11, hundreds of people were calling in tips to the FBI. Um, things like, you know, my neighbor's Arab and he keeps strange hours. I think he's a terrorist. You should check him out. And on that little information, a team of FBI, INS, and NYPD officers would be dispatched to this person's house. They were put in the most restrictive confinement that exists in the United States federal prison system. 23 to 24 hour a day lockdown in solitary confinement or with one cellmate. Um, they, every time they were moved from their cell, it was with handcuffs, shackles, and a waist chain with four guards on either side of them. The guards yelled at them, called them terrorists. The guards beat them systematically in the facility. Is that a fact? Yes, almost every single person that we've talked to describes, you know, very consistently how they were treated by the guards. In truth, a report by the Justice Department's own Inspector General in 2003 concluded that the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn had conditions of confinement that were unduly harsh, very limited access to attorneys or families, lights illuminated 24 hours a day, and a pattern of physical and verbal abuse. Virtually every one of the post-9-11 detainees was eventually cleared of connections to terrorism. Most of national security cases against Arabs in the U.S. have turned out to be based on weak, often incorrect evidence, and have been thrown out. Question. For a regular American citizen sitting in the living room watching and listening to this, who says, hey, it was a special time. America had been struck in a way we'd never been struck before. So would you agree or disagree that some extra leeway given to the authorities may have been justified. Um, I think everyone can agree that we want our government to protect us the best that we can, that we don't want another terrorist attack. But, you know, we all become a little less human when we decide that, you know, there's people among us whose rights we don't mind being violated because we're scared. Um, and I don't want that for this country.